Hello, this is Wampire, and uh, here to show you my uh, survival tin can. This was a tin can from last year's Christmas. As you can see, it is not that big, but it is larger than the very popular Altoids uh, survival cans, tin cans that you're going to see. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside, all right? Uh, the first thing is a brand new spork that I got at a fast food restaurant. Uh, second, I think it's good to have a plastic card, like a credit card type thing. Uh, I think this is good to have. It has uh, some multiple usages that you could be uh, pretty creative with. Here's a tea bag that I had uh, folded up in there. Once again, multiple usages. Uh, this is brand new dental floss, suggestion from uh, Romeo Delta. And in here, um, I have a hair band, I have some rubber bands, some very, very thin uh, cord. Uh, I even have a metal button, uh, some twist ties, bobby pins, paper clips, you know, things of that nature uh, that, that I think uh, can definitely come in handy. Uh, safety pins are in here as well. And this one is alcohol uh, prep right here as you can see just a just a couple right there and of course I have the uh, parachute cord small bundle right there and this is the uh, tweezers of course that comes in handy this is from Great Bear 1982 this is the Swiss Tech it's a small multi-tool even has a, a small uh, LED light on there, keychain. Uh, very, very cool. I have my Swiss Army knife in there. Uh, this is this was, I believe, for the, the fishing one. It's the fisherman version. And this is something that you could get very, very cheap at Walmart. It has an emergency whistle. Not, not sure how well that's going to work, but definitely better to have it than to not have it. Uh, compass, a thermometer, sorry it's kind of maybe difficult to see because of the glare and then of course we have the uh, magnifying glass let me pull that out for you guys okay so let's see here we go this is the there we go little magnifying glass right there so you know, like I said, this this is, uh, I think, a very, very good tool. Very inexpensive. You could get at Walmart. Piece of chalk. Um, I think this is one of those, uh, you just got to be creative with it, and it can come in handy. And I have this, which is a little bit strange, maybe. This is normally for uh, to clean your, your teeth. All right, to get the stuff out of the, the gums, basically. And once again, from Great Bear 1982, I have the Leatherman Freestyle in there. It just fits perfectly. And this is a very, very cool, very modern uh, multi-tool that I put in there. And also from Great Bear 1982 as well. Uh, here we go. We have this uh, fire starter. Very, very cool. And I have... Ah, I kind of forget sometimes. That's why it's good to revisit these things. Um, another very small plastic spoon. I believe this one was like for like a dessert, probably like on a parfait or something like that. And I have a notepad. Definitely, you know, just to take notes and stuff. I, I can definitely see what I'm missing in here because I'm at the end. Uh, basically, a pen would be nice to to go with the notepad there and the last item in here is I have a plastic card alright another plastic card it's enclosed in in plastic and it has a, uh, a razor blade as you can see razor blade has a lot of usages so anyway I hope this gives you some ideas and uh, encourages you to build your own it you know just to have something like this in the corner of your room uh, I think is good and, and just tell your family and stuff in, in emergency just grab that it's better if you have something more heavy-duty
but if you have nothing, it re it's really not that difficult to make something like this. And I personally find it to, to be quite fun, uh, a fun hobby. So anyway, it's the crazy holidays, so take care, be safe out there.